Hello and welcome to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do something pretty cool, pretty exciting, and that is to use the background in an online meeting as part of your presentation. Now, there's a couple of tricks, so you'll wanna watch all the way to the end because there are a few things that you need to do in order to make this effective. But I'm going to show you how we can use that background, not just as a way to cover up a cluttered background in our real world, not just as a way to add some personality, but as a way to actually be part of the presentation and the message that we're trying to teach or get across to an audience. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want more tips like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. And certainly comment down below if there's any other areas or any clarification that I can provide. Let's go have a look at using backgrounds in a whole new but interesting and effective way. So I've started a new online meeting and I've already done another video where I went through and I showed you how we could do the different backgrounds and such. You'll notice there's a little bit of a lag between my, my mouth and the audio because I'm recording a recording of a recording. So if I go in here, you can, you can see I can do all of these different backgrounds. But what I wanted to show you is, is a couple of things. One, I'm not too upset about the background that I currently have. This is, this is actually my studio background, so I'm fine with this. But I showed you in the previous video on using backgrounds, how I could go in, choose any of the Microsoft provided backgrounds. And these do provide you know, a little bit of cover up for what's behind me. If I don't want anybody seeing my, uh, my comic books or any of my, my office, I can cover it up. But what if instead of just using this background as a way of covering the what's behind me, what if I used it to do some sort of teaching? And I showed you in the previous video, I could go in, for example, and this is a diagram of a switch and I could talk about this uh, particular piece of equipment. I could lecture on it and I've got it right here behind me as I'm lecturing. You'll notice a few things about it that are not so great. For example, the text is reversed and you can really see this if I go into something like a PowerPoint slide. So you can see here, this, this would not be very useful for me to utilize as part of my teaching because nobody could read the slide, it wouldn't be very useful. So in this video, let's go and show you how I can change that. How I can actually go into a PowerPoint presentation and I can take the slides within that PowerPoint presentation and prepare it for, for background teaching. Now there's a few little gotchas in here that I wanna talk about and I'll just take the, the background off for now while I do. So we'll just scroll up here, take the background off. Um, when I have the, my area, you'll notice that I can be right centered to the camera and that's good if I'm just talking to someone. You might wanna go a little bit to the side. It, it, it's in filmmaking, it just creates a little bit better visual appeal if you're slightly askew of center. But what if I went all the way over here? Then I'd have all of this space here that I could use as part of my background. And if I choose just a generic background here, like uh, let's take for example that switch again, you'll notice that by just going a little bit to the side, I have a lot, I can talk about this particular device. I could say things like, you know, here we have, uh, to grab my pen pencil here, if I can bring it in, there we go. Grab my pencil here, I could say, you know, here we have a, a plug-in, here we have this port and that port. It takes a little bit, you know, you have to be able to watch yourself while you do that. And uh, sometimes you're like, you'll see my hand will sort of appear and disappear. There's a little bit of ghosting on there. And that depends on, on what your actual office background looks like. So that's just an example. Let's have a look at how I can do this with PowerPoint. It, it's quite interesting. Okay, so what I wanna do is let's, let's go to a PowerPoint deck and I'm gonna create a new slideshow. And I can grab it from a template. You'll notice if I click on education, there are a whole bunch of different templates in there. I'm actually gonna go back. I have one that I like here. It's a 3D PowerPoint on the Hubble Space Telescope. So I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna create a new presentation around this. And what I need to do is I need to process these slides so that they'll actually work within my presentation when I'm online using it as a background. So let's grab the second slide here. Now I'm going to put my image here. That's going to be where my camera is going to be. And so everything that appears on the right hand side will be what my audience sees. Now it won't matter as much with the telescope itself. So let's just make it sort of a nice image of the telescope. You can rotate it. And this is a feature that you have if you have the um, full version of Microsoft Office. I can move it to where I want. And maybe I want to focus in on these solar panels. So I'll grab this element, the solar panels element, 
And maybe what I'll do is I'll actually get rid of this topic here. I won't put the text in there. I'll get rid of this bar here. So all I have here is solar panels and maybe I'll actually just pop that up a little bit bigger. So let's just grab solar panels if I can. Grab my solar, well, grab this element here and get rid of it. Grab the solar panels element and we'll make that a little bit larger. I'll make it even larger. So you can see that what I'm doing is I'm just manipulating the slideshow here. I've got it sort of what I want, knowing that my image is going to be over here on this side when I'm using this as a background. Again, I can move this around with the 3D model. I can move this to sort of make it look like I'd like, and I can then go into my next slide. And I'm just going to do these fairly quickly so that we have this element here, and we're going to get rid of that. And we'll grab the communications antenna. We'll move that over here. Grab the divider, get rid of that. Grab the text box, get rid of that. Let's move this here. And once again, let's select all the text. And let's just make that a little bit bigger. So obviously you can take as much time as you need in order to get your slide deck the way you want. What I'm really doing here is I'm just making sure that everything I do is right justified so that this side here is going to have space for my face. So we'll go here, again, we have the aperture door, I'll actually move this down here, and uh, so on and so forth. I'm, I won't, I'll just use these two slides in this demo. And then what I can do is I can take it and I can export these slides out into a different file type. And I'll use the Portable Networks graphic or Graphics or PNG file, we'll do a save as. And what I'll do is I can save these out, I'll put them into a, desktop folder and let's call this new folder uh, space or something so create a new folder and we'll call it now I've got two new folders so we'll call this one space demo and then what I'll do is go into space demo and we'll save it out and now I'll save all slides out to this folder so there we go each slide in the presentation is now its own image file if I go into my space demo You'll actually see here that I now have under that deck, I have all five slides in there. I'm going to open up a website and this is called image to go and image to go will allow me to rotate the image, but I'm going to do a special type of rotation on the image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab the slide two and slide three, because those are the ones that I modified. So I'll put slide two on here and it'll take a few moments to upload. You can see that I've done a few here already. So it takes a few moments to upload. And then what I need to do is mirror it. So I need to go into the mirroring and you'll notice it's now on the left hand side and the text is now mirrored. I will go into the save as, I'll set the quality to high and I will call this first background. Or you, you know, maybe I'll call it background one. I'll even spell background the right way. So we'll call it background and I'll use letters, background A, PNG format, highest quality, save it. It'll then do that rotation for me, which is actually the mirroring. It'll do the mirroring for me. And then I have this slide, it's processed. And then what I can do is I can download it. So I'll now download it. It'll go into my downloads folder as background A. Just to repeat that for you, all tools, rotate image, drag slide three over, slide three uploads, as soon as it's uploaded, I'm going to go in and mirror it. Let's wait for that. Go in, mirror it, save as, highest quality, go in, background B. And you wouldn't want to have, you know, a 40 slide deck in here to do this. And you really also want to make sure that when you're doing this, that you're using this to demonstrate uh, concepts and such, you don't want a whole lot of text in here. It's not going to work too well if you have a lot of text because people aren't going to be able to read it very well. And we'll just download background B. So I now have background A and background B. And if I actually just uh, show those in the folder, you can see they're in my download folder. So I'm going to grab both of those. I will cut them out of my background folder. So I'll just go in and cut in a moment. Oh, computer slowed down there. So we will, uh, cut them from the download folder and I will put them into my space folder, right click 
and paste them in and you'll notice I have those two images in there. So now what I'm going to do is go to my meeting and I'm going to start using those as my background. Let's take a look at that. Oh, so here I am. I'm ready to join this meeting. We'll call it, uh, you know, the Hubble Space Telescope. So we'll call it uh, Space Telescope or something fun or Space Meeting. I'm just keeping things simple. So we'll call it Space Meeting. And what I'm going to do is before I join the meeting, I'm going to go into my background and I'm going to add new backgrounds. I'm going to go to my space folder, space demo folder, and you can see I have background A and background B. So I'm going to first grab background A. We'll throw that in there. And now I have that. I'm going to add another one. We'll call background B. And you do have to add them all in so that they're available to me. And then before I join the meeting, I want to start with background A. And I want to move my chair just a little bit over. So now when I join this meeting, I now have this cool PowerPoint behind me and I can start the meeting. So let's go ahead and I'll join the meeting. So we're going to join the meeting. It takes a few moments to connect and I'm ready to present. Now there is another gotcha in here that I want to show you. So now here we go. So this is what my students will see. And this becomes quite cool. I can oh, look at the solar panels and I can talk all about it and, and, and whatever I want to do. The other thing that I can do is underneath the ellipse here, right? I can do spotlight me. And when I do spotlight me, this isn't very exciting because it's just me in this meeting right now. But if I had a group of students in here, this would put the focus on me and my video. So it'd be me with this particular background. And then when I'm, you know, I'm talking, I'm telling everybody about solar panels. And then when it comes time to talk about something else, I can say, and then the other thing that we want to be able to talk about when it comes to the Hubble Space Telescope is we want to make sure that we talk about the communications antenna. And so now I'm progressing through the slide deck, but I'm actually using it as sort of a inexpensive, well, free, inexpensive uh, green screen. So you can still see there's some artifacting around my ears and stuff. I have a pretty bright light behind me. So one of the ways that I could avoid some of this artifacting is to uh, turn the light off behind me. But actually, I kind of think it's cool. It looks like I'm in space. But I can, you know, it, gets, it takes a little bit of work and you want to move slowly with your hand if you want, unless you want your finger to disappear. But you can go in and you can, uh, you know, present stuff. Maybe you have to, ah, my fingers are gone. But So you get the idea. But it can be useful. Okay, so there is an example of how I can use a background as part of my teaching or presentation without having to use a green screen and with uh, having a free tool that allows me to mirror it so that my text shows up okay. There you have it. There we can use a background in order to do better and more effective presentations. Now, you can also have a more dynamic background, but that involves a little bit more equipment, a little bit more audiovisual equipment, and probably the use of a green screen, plus some specialized software. I'll create a video on using green screens and specialized software in order to teach as well, but this is a very quick and easy way that you are able to go through and just use your background for a little bit more than a distraction or to get rid of the clutter behind you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll watch more of my videos. And if you have any questions or comments, comment down below. And if you want to subscribe for more tips like this, then of course hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if this video was useful for you.